six months after the federal government shut down Maritala Mohammed International Airport on March to be precise to all incoming and outgoing international flights in an effort to contain the spread of coronavirus. The airport is now open for business. So I am going to see firsthand how the airport has changed, how traveling through this airport will look like in the future, and all the safety precautions put in place by Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria to welcome back travelers and the airlines post-coronavirus. This video is just to help you master all these new safety protocols in advance as you get ready to travel. So, I'm first of all going to mask up before I calm down. You can see the current situation calls for a series of new measures and taking your well-being into consideration along every journey is necessary. So masking up is going to be one of the most important measures to minimize the risk of transmission while traveling. So I'll take you through those processes from the drop-off point to uh, security. First, if you're carrying a bag or a luggage, then it will be disinfected here before proceeding to the thermal scanner for a temperature check. Man, keep this in mind. If your temperature is 37.5 and below, that's a pass for you to proceed to your next phase of travel. And if it is higher than that, you will be asked to step aside for a while, say five to 10 minutes, then you'll be checked again. And if it is still high, you'll be taken to the clinic downstairs for a secondary check. As you can see, many things have changed since we last traveled. No way! The airport atmosphere has completely changed. It's truly refreshing. This is like a breath of fresh air. First thing you are going to notice when you enter inside the terminal is social distancing markings in all queue areas. You are expected to keep 1.5 meters distancing at all time. So make sure to stand on the marked spot until you have been asked to proceed. And they now have an extension outside the terminal to avoid overcrowding inside the terminal. Also, it's very important to know that the face masks are required for all travelers during this time. Be aware that airports such as Maritala Mohammed International Airport have also implemented a zero tolerance policy for refusal to wear a face mask at the airport. Make sure that you have one, you can bring a whole lot when you're coming. So let's proceed next is the checking counters. This is where you Get your ticket validated and printed and all the counters have been fitted with a plexiglass shield. This plastic shield is installed in all checkpoints throughout the airport to ensure the safety of the agent and that of the passenger. This is just an additional layer of protection to help reduce the spread of COVID-19. Now you'll be able to get your identification verified without any physical contacts between you and the ticketing officer. Don't be surprised, however, if you were asked to temporarily lower your face mask to verify you are whom you say you are. But before we proceed, I advise you to do all your bookings online, do all your check-ins online. As a matter of fact, help to limit the contact you have with the people at the airport. It will be very helpful and will make your journey very easy and seamless. Time to go to passport access gates. 
travelers passing through this airport are expected to see a more coordinated process as they move from one state of their journey to the next one. Good afternoon. Okay. All right, thank you. Okay, so you can see they have a plexi glass shield here also shielding you from the agent in charge of passport and boarding pass checking. So let's proceed to immigration counter, okay? There are social distancing reminders to keep you in check everywhere you go. And before you proceed to the immigration, you expect it to sanitize your hand. I'm going to do that uh, right now. So you can see the safety and security of passengers, employees and all airport visitors is top priority. And make sure to stand on the marked spot until you have been asked to proceed. There is uh, also a plexiglass shield shielding you from the passport control officer. Okay, so let's proceed to security. Going through security is still the same process, only that this time everything is wiped down and disinfected from top to bottom. Uh, don't forget that all manner of stuff from thousands of passengers pass through here. So it is more like an enhanced safety and security. Thank you, it's still just going through the normal procedure. Uh, this one here has already been disinfected, but uh, the drill is pretty much the same. Everything from shoes to laptops, liquids and jewelry uh, must be stored away in trays for scanning. This is going to go first. Good afternoon there, how are you? Like I said earlier that nothing much has really changed apart from some rules and regulations to keep us safe during this period. Traveling in this age of coronavirus is certainly going to be an unusual experience for many and one that will probably become the norm in the years to come. And it's good to see all these changes. The airport is cleaner right now. I know it's stressful traveling through the airport, but it's for our safety and for our health as well. Like I said earlier, this video is to help you master the new safety protocols in advance as you get ready to travel for the first time. So as you make plans for your next flight, be sure to give yourself plenty of time, plan ahead and arrive at the airport uh, three to four hours earlier than your scheduled flight. As going through or observing all the safety protocols will lengthen the process of your journey. So keep being safe and let me know if you like all the protocols that the airports have put in place. And if not, leave your comment at the comment section below and I will get back to you. Thank you very much and have a wonderful trip. <music>